This is Jake and Dan. They're going to be doing some canoeing. It's going to involve a lot of pushing and pulling. And it starts with getting changed. So when you go paddling, you do a lot of pushing and pulling. How many pushing and pulling actions did Jake and Dan do? This is Eric. He's a chef and he's going to make some pizza.
There's going to be a tug of war competition. On one team will be Nick, who is quite big. And on the other team will be Jimmy and Jake, who are not as big. The prize for winning is a huge plate of delicious cream cakes. Nick has decided not to wear any shoes. Jimmy and Jake will be wearing their trainers. They're on starter's orders. And off we go. Nick seems to be doing quite well. Oh no, he's beginning to slide. He's going to win! Oh no, he's not! He seems to have got a grip. It's still anyone's game. Who's going to win those cream cakes? Why did Jake and Jimmy win? This is Professor Pete. And this is Firefighter Jason. Pete and Jason are going to conduct an experiment. They're going to find out about making parachutes for eggs. Pete and Jason are going to see what happens when an egg is dropped from the top of a fireman's ladder. Ladders and tall buildings are dangerous. Jason has been specially trained. Here goes the first egg. What will happen when the egg is dropped without a parachute? Are you ready Jason? Uh, okay, drop the egg. Oh dear. Scrambled egg. <laughs> Wait a minute. He's had an idea. Professor Pete is using his handkerchief to make a parachute. In goes the next egg. Oh, he's not looking very happy. Will this work? Well, the egg looks confident. Drop the egg. Oh dear, more scrambled egg. Aha, I think he's had an idea. Professor Pete has improved on his parachute idea. He's using a plastic bag. Will this stop the egg from smashing? Oh dear, it's still a bit smashed, isn't it? Now that's what I call a parachute. Pete has made a giant parachute out of a black bin liner. 
Let's see how this egg gets on. Good luck, egg. OK, drop the egg. Fantastic! This time the egg floated to the ground and hasn't broken. Well done, Professor Pete and Firefighter Jason. Now the question is, why did the last egg not get broken?